Hi there everybody, um, I just wanted to share some stories about our Nick um, and I'm very honoured to be wearing his rugby top. Uh, I've got very fun memories of him in his Australian rugby and um, we would have our banter about the England and the Australian rugby when it was on uh, in the World Cup and stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I have great memories of that and um, obviously I've got my Rusty here with me today. I wish that Nick got to meet him. Um, Milo adored Nick. As soon as Nick would come into the into the kitchen, he would be all over him and they'd be rolling around on the floor playing and Milo would just, just love him. It, it, there was something about Nick that animals loved and they, they could sense the kindness in his heart. Um, like many animals, they've got a good sense of a good person and uh, Nick was definitely one of them and dogs and cats would tell you. Um, but my sister, she, um, when she started seeing Nick, she told me that he invited invited her to go down and see him on a Sunday morning to um, play when he was playing football with his friends and stuff. So Joanne said, yeah, I'll come down and see you. And um, she had no idea how good Nick was. And um, so it was really, really cold. It was one of those frosty mornings. And Joanne thought, I'm not, I'm not standing out in the cold on the side to uh, watch him play. So she sat in her car with her friend and um, of course, Nick, uh, he was up front, wasn't he? He was the striker. He was uh, he put the bloody goals away. And um, anyway, he scored a goal, and Adrian went mad and started tooting the horn like do 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 do, and then she'd shout or cheer or something out the window. And then he scored another, so she did it again. And then he scored another, and she did it again. Anyway, our Nick ended up scoring ten goals on this game. <laughs> And by the end of it, the people on the pitch were so pissed off, whoever kept tooting their horn, and our Nick thought, bloody hell, it's, that, it's this girl I've started seeing. And uh, by behind the hold, obviously, they carried on seeing each other. And um, yes, that was, um, I, I laughed my head off when my sister told me about that. She kept tooting the horn. I'll safely say, Joanne didn't go to much more games. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was that one. And there was another occasion where me and my sister um, and Nick, we when I stay, I used to stay at theirs and stuff and have a bit of a drink and a, that uh, we had a game of Scrabble. Now, me and my sa me and my sister, we're not the best at spelling, especially when it comes to Scrabble. But we thought we'd give it a go. Anyway, we used to play with him, and we were bloody hopeless. We were shit. I mean, honestly, we could make about four letters. You know, and Nick was coming up with like Habrika bloody Kadabra and scoring mega points in Scrabble. And I, me and my sisters just thought, well, we can't play you, we're crap. And we used to team up, me and my sister used to go up just against Nick. Obviously, Nick wins everything, doesn't he? Um, so this one evening, me and my sister thought, we're having Nick and uh, we are going to beat him at Scrabble. So we, without him knowing, we hid this dictionary under the coffee table. And Joanne kept going, babe, babe, you couldn't go and get me another beer, could you? And he'd go, oh, for, can't you get it yourself? She went, no, my legs are tired. So he would go into the kitchen while me and my sister would quickly look at our letters and try and, you know, out of the dictionary. It actually was quite hard, to be honest, because we were looking at all the words and we were thinking, well, oh, we ain't got that, we ain't got that. But we were making some big, you know, some reasonable sized words. And our Nick was very impressed with this. And um, he still was coming up really well with these words. Um, anyway, eventually, Nick cottoned on that uh, me and my sister was cheating with a dictionary. And uh, we couldn't stop laughing. And he got on a right strop with us. He's a bit of a... He don't like it, does he? He takes everything very seriously. So uh, we were laughing our head off. And um, he didn't see the funny side. But we did. Um, safely say, the scrambling days with Nick and my sister and myself was over. Because, um, well, we didn't really enjoy it. Because it was crap. We couldn't do it. So uh, that was our, our scrabble days with Nick. So, um, yes, I... I hopefully, you know, there's there's loads more memories with Nick. Um, too many, like, you know, it's great that I have these memories because that's what I'm hanging on to and, and um, what a tremendous person our Nick really was. Um, it's a great loss to us all. A massive hole has been left. Um, I will do my utmost for Jake and Jasmine and I will, you know, garden... Garden, I shall look after them and um, I shall try and teach them a bit of football. Um, you know, obviously I'm no way as good as Nick, but um, 
I've got I've got some skills in this area. I can kick a ball around. I've already been doing that with them, you know, here and there. Jasmine's getting rather good at it. Jasmine can kick a ball well. Um, but anyway, everybody, take care through these tough times. Um, and it, it is with great sadness that we've lost a tremendous person. And um, thank you for listening. I hope, you know, I made a bit of sense there. But um, if you want to play Scrabble with me, I'm afraid the answer's going to be no. Monopoly, we'll have a game of Monopoly because um, that can last bloody ages. I'm not bad at Monopoly. But um, anyway, I'll shut up now. You all take care. And, um, you know, we've all ra raised the glass at 2 p.m. for our Nick. And um, thank you for listening. Love you. Take care.